Right, number 116 from the Maths Camp. Proof by induction, another summation formula one, but one that factorises nicely this time. So no need for that stuff at the side in, in here. Proof by induction that the sum of these three, the product of these three parts, r, r plus one, r plus five, turns out to be this. A quarter n, n plus one, n plus two, n plus seven. So, same as before. Starting off with, check that it's in fact true for n equals one. So at n equals 1, the left-hand side, notice the technique to demonstrate it, left-hand side, right-hand side. Uh, the left-hand side would be the first term, 1 times 2 times 6. So that's going to come to 12. Right-hand side. The right-hand side is going to be a quarter times 1 times 2 times 3 times 8. 1 to the equals 2, 2 to the 4, 12, which means that it's true for n equals 1. Next, assume that it's true for n equals any arbitrary number k, in which case sigma r equals 1 to k of r, r plus 1 r plus 5 should equal this with k's. A quarter k, k plus 1, k plus 2, k plus 7. Next, consider. Consider n equals k plus 1. In that, it'd be required to demonstrate that this with k plus 1 here would provide this with k plus 1's in these four positions. So that sigma r equals 1 to k plus 1 of r r plus 1 r plus 5 would be call that one, sigma r equals 1 to k of r r plus 1 r plus 5 that's the first k terms that we've got already plus the next one, the next one being these three terms where r is k plus 5. So there I've got k plus 1, k plus 1 plus 1, that would be k plus 2, and k plus 1 plus 5, so that would be k plus 6. Then calling into play the inductive hypothesis, that would equal by 1, this part should equal that. I've got one quarter k, k plus one, k plus two, k plus seven, plus the extra term for k plus one, k plus six. And now the task is to gather this all up to get this formula with the k plus ones. Well, first step, get rid of that four, get rid of the quarter. Take out the quarter, add any factors you can find. I just saved all of them. Whoa, there's a couple there and a couple there. Take out the k plus 1, they've both got it. Take out the k plus 2, they've both got it. And then see what's left. And I've taken out everything here apart from the k and the k plus 7. From this one, I've got the k plus 1, the k plus 2, but I divided by a quarter. So for this term, I'll have to make that one four times bigger. But I've still got the k plus 6. Then, that's using 1, I should have written that in there, using 1 for this part here. But now we need the space at the top. So that this expression here then will become, I've got the quarter, I've got the k plus 1, I've got the k plus 2, and this part's going to tidy up, because all these factors come out, just a little quadratic. I've got k squared plus 7k plus 4k plus 24. That'll be a quarter of k plus 1, k plus 2. Now that middle part, that's k squared plus 11k plus 24. Just to save a bit of line, save a bit of space here. So that's definitely going to be k times k. Factors of 24 that add up to 11, 3 and 8 plus 3, plus 8, everything's positive. And then the final step is just to rearrange that into a well-known phrase or saying, this one, where the n's are replaced by k plus 1's. Well, that's easy to achieve. We speak every k a k plus 1. 
So that is a k plus 1. Making that into a k plus 1. I've used up one of them. I've still got one bit left. Making that into a k plus 1. I use one of those three, so there's still two left. And making that into a k plus 1. I've used just one of them, so there's going to be a 7 left. Which is the formula that was required to be demonstrated. Each of the ends has been replaced by k plus 1. Now we can make a statement. True for n equals k meant it was true for n equals k plus 1. Since it was true for n equals 1, that means by induction it's true, oh I could have written that sign, for all n. We're using the natural numbers and n is greater or equal to 1. A simple one. Number 117 isn't quite so simple. Maybe that next time.